So in this video, I'll be teaching you how to make 20mm Picatinny rails. Here are your contents and timestamps, and let's start. And oh, by the way, remember to subscribe with the bell on if this video helped you, and also like the video. It helps a lot, and thanks. So for this, uh, this is the first one. This is the easiest and the fastest, as you will see from this video. Um, so first cut out a piece with the corrugations lined up on the side, which you can see now. Peel off the top layer as I've done. Clean off like the remaining bits, and then you have basically the base thing. Then measure the width as 20 millimeters or 2 centimeters, and then you just trim it until it is 20 millimeters. If it's not, which in this video I'm not, so I have to cut it down until it is 20 millimeters. Then here you have two options. I'll say the other options later, but for now, um, you can cut two long pieces that are the same height, um, better with the corrugations facing up, and then you can just put it below your piece so it becomes supported. The height of that thing you can get it from your drawing of the gun. Then glue it down and done. Or you can also do this. You can just cut out a long piece that is a little bit narrower. And you just glue it below, and then glue on the gun, as my honey badger, like this. They both work, and yeah, choose it yourself. And here's a diagram. Now for the second kind here, this is a little bit harder. So first of all, you have to cut out this cardboard. You fold down the two sides on top of the corrugation, and the corrugation at the front should look like this. You follow the curve and fold down so it's supported as well. Then you just trim out the edges and make sure it's the right width. Then you make the bottom piece with like a few layers of thin cardboard. Basically peeling off like from the cardboard and then just glue it back together without the middle. Then you take your first piece and cut them up into segments. Then you take your bottom piece and glue them together. Then this is what it should look like. Nice and detailed. And you cut out two long pieces with the corrugations facing up in which the height, as I've said before, is based on your drawing, so you have to refer to that. And then you just glue it on the bottom again. And then you just glue it on the gun. Simple. If you want to, you can always cover the corrugation as well for those individual pieces. I'm too lazy to do that, but you can. This is a diagram of how you do it. Basically, a simple diagram. And yep, except for this thing, everything else from that second part is taken from my UMP45 tutorial, which is linked in the description if you want to watch it. For the last kind here, um, it's kind of similar to the second method, so if you miss what I said, you can watch that bit again, it's just like a minute. Um, I'm just going to explain something important here, and, and that is the bottom, you're making two of these pieces, so one of them, you should make it the length of your rail, entire rail, as that is your bottom piece, so you're only cutting one of your two pieces, so you can glue it on top of the bottom. If your bottom's not double layered colored, like the nice color, you can do what I did, and put a piece of top layer on top of the bottom of that bottom piece, if you know what I'm saying. So it'll look nice on both sides. And then you can just glue the top pieces onto the thing, like I've said in the second segment. And then it'll look nice like this. As I've said before, you can cover the corrugation, and then you can just glue the bottom piece. And if you want, you can also add two, like the, like the long pieces as before, to make it higher if you need it. So yeah, and yes, this is a sneak peek of my next gun, and that's because you watched to the end. And with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week with my new gun. So if you want to see that, don't forget to subscribe with the bell on, and like the video, comment something, share the video, blah blah blah, all of that good shit. Bye!